Some shocking findings today at a popular recreational site southwest of Calgary. A group of off-road enthusiasts went out to McLean Creek to help clean up the area. They say it's become a lot worse with the closures at Indian Graves and Wipress recreational areas. As Carolyn Curry de Castillo reports, volunteers ended up not only hauling out loads of garbage, but towing out new vehicles that were abandoned throughout K Country. The big buggy is a huge machine that could crush anything in its path, but volunteers are using it to clean up Kananaskis. Today they found this Jeep, license plates removed, abandoned on the side of a hill. It's routine for them to find so-called grad presents scattered here and then claimed as stolen. Where something happens, they have a party, cars get set on fire, whatever, fireworks and stuff, and they just leave them, pull the plates off and just leave the cars here. The volunteers are 4 by 4 users who fear losing this area. They pick up garbage, drain ruts, fix bridges, and now they're building a fence to keep irresponsible off-roaders from making this mud pit any worse. They claim the sloppy mess appeared the weekend after trails at the Wipers off-road area were shut down. Uh, I don't blame any user group. I blame the government for lack of control, lack of, uh, they don't make any laws, which can't be that hard. I mean, this is a park. Last year, the volunteers hauled out six tons of garbage. That includes everything from abandoned cars, mattresses, furniture, propane tanks, tents, guns, all these things found in these random camping sites. They don't realize they're going to lose these areas. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating because the government just wants to close them down. And that's not going to stop the uh, problem. That's just going to move it somewhere else. According to these users, the McLean Creek area is a mess and getting worse with the closures at Indian Graves and Wipress. They want to see more enforcement to keep people on the trails. It's a moral rule, basically, uh, since our government won't give us rules. Mm -hmm. But you just you don't, don't go into it because it destroys it and then it gets the siltation into the water and it, it hurts the fish and then the siltation goes further downstream into Calgary's drinking water. You go to Gooseberry and the rangers are always there. Come here and there's no policemen, there's no enforcement of anything. So it's free reign to do whatever you want. All the money for the fencing and hauling stuff to the dump comes from the volunteers' pockets, who will do whatever it takes to keep this area open for everyone to use. Carolyn Curry de Castillo, Global News. Volunteers say they waited for the province to clean up the vehicles and set up the fence, but it never got done.